guys, back again with Pebble Chamomile with another Unity tutorial. In the last tutorial, we made the collectible, actually collectible, as in shown here. Now we are going, uh, we are going to make the collectible actually keep spawning. But to do that, we gonna have to know about prefab. So basically, our prefab is like how to say it. <laughs> uh, better, better I just show you what it is than explaining. So to create a prefab. We're going to let's go to collectibles folder and I'm gonna make a new folder called prefabs. Inside prefab, we go to the collectible game object and just drag it down here. There we go. Now we have a collectible prefab. What it does is, for example, if we have multiple collectibles in the scene, for example, we have three of them, right? And we happen to want to change the speed to, for example, 8. If we don't use prefab, we're gonna have to change every single one of them. See? Only this one has the speed of 8, but the others still have speed 5, right? Oh. Now with with prefab, we can do that much easier. Let me refer that. For example, you can select the prefab that we just made, and if we change this to 8, you can see that they are all the collectibles in the scene are now 8 have the speed of 8 and for example if we want to change uh, the graphic to not be an apple you can double click the prefab and open it you can see here the graphic it has apple for example, if I change it to the sun and save over here, if you go back, you can see that everything, the collectibles are all now suns. So basically, our prefab is something that you can use to change multiple objects at the same time. Uh, it's more like maybe a template so for example if if I change this speed to 10 for example right if I change the object of the scene it doesn't affect the prefab at all and only that only the object that was changed is affected right but for example i don't want to the speech be 10 anymore but maybe in case some cases i forgot what the default speed was i can just right click on the speed and revert and it will go back to the prefab one another Another um, example is, for example, I'm, I want this, this speed to be 10, right? And when I tested it, I prefer it to be 10. So, we, I can also right click on the speed here and apply the prefab and everything here will be 10 including the prefab so yeah 
I think that's it about prefabs for now. So basically, in conclusion, prefab is well, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Just, uh, it's just as you can see, though. It's something that can be used to. Uh, manipulate many, many things at once, that kind of thing. And also, also, if we want to use a prefab in the scene, we can just drag it over here, and it will create a new object in the scene using that prefabs. If you want to, uh, if you want an object to no longer be connected to a prefab, you can use, uh, you can do right-click on the object and unpack prefab completely. I always use this one. I don't know what this one does yet. So I'm gonna have to do some reading on that. And as you can see, it is no longer prefab linked to a prefab you can see that the prefab ones are have blue blue fonts while the ones that are not are black so if we are, I change the speed of your prefab to 10 for example you can see that the blue ones change but the black one doesn't but if I change the black one to probably 6 I can't even right click it it doesn't change anything and yeah that's about it about prefab in the next video I mean in the next tutorial we're going to actually make the <clears throat> collectible spawning uh, yeah, I was about to make the... Oh, it's too, too fast. I was about to make the video about spawning, uh, about spawning, but I figured it would be better if we, uh, we already know what prefab is first. So yeah, that's it for the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you like the video and see you next time.